This waste tire pyrolysis project was installed in Anhui, China in 2020. There are a total of four sets of BLJ-10. The reactor size is 2600 asterisk 6600 mm with thickness of 16 mm, and the making material is Q245R boiler steel. The project is designed to use forklifts and hydraulic feeder for feeding to minimize the labor costs and improve the feeding efficiency. We specially installed a large silo above the hydraulic feeder to work with forklifts feeding. According to calculations, it takes about two hours to complete the feeding of the 10T waste tire, and the furnace door of the reactor is also specially designed to be round. The size just matches the size of the forklift. This is the overall view of the four sets of BLJ-10 tire pyrolysis plant, with a design processing capacity of 40 tons slash day. At present, a large processing capacity design solution is popular in China to recover investment costs as soon as possible. The condenser also adopts our latest design, the 3-in-1 condenser. That is, the condenser. The oil tank and the water seal are placed in the same frame, and the upper part is the water tank. The advantages of this design are easy for transportation, installation and maintenance. After the feed is completed, we start to ignite. The fuel can be diesel, natural gas, coal, tire oil, firewood, etc but it is recommended that you use the tire oil, so you don't need to purchase any of the additional fuel. The fuel consumption of BLJ-10 is about 280 kg of tire oil per day. The Cygnus produced during the pyrolysis process is also recycled to the main furnace for heating, which also can save a lot of fuel in this way. After the equipment is ignited and operated for two hours, the light oil gas will begin to be generated. When the temperature reaches between 250 degrees and 280 degrees, a large amount of liquid oil can be seen from the side glass. At this moment, the pressure in the normal range is about 0.010-02 MPa, which is a relatively safe range, this tire oil has a very high calorific value, about 4.3 mj slash kg, which can be used as fuel to replace coal, diesel and other fuels, and is generally widely used cement plants, power plants, boiler plants, etc. After about 12 hours, the oil output is basically completed. And then we also need to wait until the furnace temperature reaches about 60 degrees before proceeding with the carbon black discharge. It will take about 7 hours here. Our carbon black discharging system is also designed with automation. From the video, we can see that the tire carbon black is automatically transported to the ton bags by our carbon black discharge device. These carbon blacks can also be reprocessed into fuel for personal use or sale.